everyone, my name is Amina and Hello, my name is Nana So in this video, we will share with you four sustainable Moroccan products Beauty products actually for both men and women that we use and love And so we thought, why not share them with our subscribers, right? Now, Nana, would you tell us a bit more about the products that we're about to share with our subscribers? Indeed, Amina, in today's video we're going to explore the diamonds of Morocco. Those products that are really useful for our hair and body and are 100% natural and that we should use more often in our country. And we're gonna explore a little bit Morocco uh, with this video. We're gonna start talking about Hazul, which is really good for hair and body and it's considered 100% natural exfoliator. Secondly, we're gonna talk about Sabun Buldi, which is a 100% natural soap that helps uh, deep cleansing and exfoliating. Third, we're gonna talk about Henna, which is a natural dye that helps uh, color your hair, but also soften and moisturize your hair. And the last product, uh, that we're going to talk about is argan oil which is a great hair booster and a skin saver so let's uh, let's explore morocco together well rasul is a mineral natural clay that contains a lot of magnesium lithium amongst others but these are the most prominent ones and it comes from alteration of unstable volcanic rocks you might know that it is mined from atlas mountains in morocco but did you know that its name is due to its like origin mountain called the Jebel Rasul, which means in Arabic, um, the mountain of the washer. It's been used for thousands of years for body and hair care, even by Egyptian papyrus, Romans, Greeks, and now Europeans. But originally, Moroccans were the first to use it in its natural raw state. You know, they even had a, a secret recipe that now I don't think is very secret anymore, but it was secret and it took them, and I think it still takes weeks to prepare before it can be used on the body or the hair. And actually, it is still part of the offerings made by the groom's family to the bride on the day of the conclusion of the Moroccan wedding tradition kind of thing. So it's it gotta have some value, you know? <laughs> now, what are some of the healing properties of Rasul, right? Well, I used it as a natural shampoo. It can be used as such because it acts on dandruff, it conditions and detangles the hair as it exfoliates the scalp. But not only the hair can benefit from its healing properties, also the skin, because due to the high levels of iron, it detoxifies it, it um, exfoliates the dead skin cells, it purifies the skin, softens the skin, soothes skin irritations, limits the excess oil from the skin. There's, It has so many properties, I can't, I, I just like lost the count. But yeah, it's really worth the shot. I would go for it. So, another great product from Morocco is called Sabun Bildi, uh, Sabun Noir or Black Soap, uh, translated in English. And it's only composed by potassium olivate and water and it's 100% natural and it's a great soap used uh, by Moroccans that can help exfoliate your skin and deep clean it. So it's used under the shower, you can use also an exfoliating um, sponge with it and it's gonna help to remove all the dead cells, uh, exfoliate and leave your skin super smooth and clean. It's uh, rich in vitamin E so that's why it has moisturizing properties. These Really helps uh, to open up your pores to clean them also if you have a problem of dry skin clogged pores uh, or oily skin or eczema this soap will make a huge difference it's gonna really help you exfoliate deep clean and leave your skin as amazing as possible. I tried it on my face and already after the first time I could feel the difference, I could feel that my skin was smooth. I can show you how it works. It's not really foamy so it's really good to use it with an exfoliating sponge just so you make sure that uh, it works 100% how to use it you use it under the shower so it needs to get a little bit steamy and then you apply it on your skin and you really need to uh, a sponge or if you want you can use it on its own but make sure to put uh, uh, the right quantity on your skin because it's not foamy and you may feel that you didn't put anything also this product doesn't smell like anything uh, Savon Voldy is um, a soap that has been used for 
centuries by Morocco, especially during the hammam practice, uh, which is uh, which basically consists in going into a spa, into a hammam full of steam and cleansing deeply your body. Uh, it was uh, first discovered in Syria and then it spread all over the Middle East till it got to Morocco. Henna or mandi is actually a powder derived from crushing the leaves of the henna plant. The earliest use of this plant dates back to Cleopatra times. Apparently she used henna to adorn and beautify her body. Henna has also got some superstitions attached to it. In Morocco, it's said to signify the strength of love between the bride and groom. In India, it's believed that deeper the color of henna on the bride's hand, the better would be her relationship with her mother-in-law. Many traditional henna designs are sacred symbols of prosperity, love, loyalty, fertility and good luck. But it's not only used on the hands, feet and body. It's also used on the hair for all its healing properties. Some brands use it in their dyes, but natural henna gives either reddish or blackish color or shadow. Some people expect the color to look like this. Well, it depends on the base color of your hair. And I tried it on my hair. So this is the original color of my hair. in the dark well, but very dark but uh, you understand okay so this is the color of my hair in the light in the light in the light while we're at it, let's talk about the healing properties of henna. On the skin and body, it acts as a cooling agent during summer. It treats cracking nails and various types of skin problems like ringworm, athlete's foot, some types of eczema. It can also be used as nail polish. On the hair though, it doesn't have only dyeing properties. It softens and strengthens the hair and adds shine to it. It can treat hair loss, retain the pH balance of the scope. It also cures dryness, dandruffs, premature grain of hair, and it can kill lice. What? By the way, some people dislike the smell of henna or mandy. I added cloves. I also added olive oil for extra nutrition. You can add coffee, black tea to kill the reddish color, essential oils, lemon zest, lavender for the smell and properties. It can be left on for as long as you want. I mean, the longer you wait, the better, but I waited for two hours. This is the results it gave me. Well, my hair is not looking on fleek today, but mm, this is the color it gave me. Okay, so, in the dark, kind of, I don't know. It's so shiny, right? So, conclusion is, uh, it did not dye my hair. I mean, I'm actually grateful because it was not my intention to dye it. Although I do know that, I'm not sure about this, but my mom told me that, like, the effect, like, the dyeing effect, vanishes away eventually when you like wash your hair and stuff because it's natural so i'm i like didn't mind that fact when i applied henna on my hair but i'm grateful that it didn't dye it i mean maybe you tell me i mean do you see any reddish reflection or color i don't know okay I do notice um, that it's shinier, it's silkier, it's like very strong, I don't know. I can't really tell because my hair generally is always, um, you know, looking good. <laughs> I, I take good care of it, so I mean, it pays off. So, yeah. All right, so as mentioned earlier, we're gonna try to use argan oil and prove that it works on your hair just right after the first utilization. Um, as you can see, my hair is dry. I can show it to you. I've been washing it for like four days. And uh, yeah, this is the struggle of people with curly hair. We have to deal with this stuff. 
pretty much on a weekly basis but with the argan oil we can fix this problem argan oil is really good for your hair because it boosts uh, hair growth and uh, it makes your hair silky smooth as if uh, you never ruined it by straightening it or with the coloration however you need to use it on a weekly basis always try to make hair masks with argan oil leave it for like one hour and then wash your hair um as you know argan oil is not just good for your hair but also for your skin as mentioned previously how can we apply argan hair oil we can use a little spray like this and use a little bit of water so it's easier to apply it here so I just uh, try to spray it all over my hair and I try to massage my scalp so I know that the oil penetrates in my scalp pretty much. Container can be recycled from uh, those cleaning products that you have at home. Once you finish them, just uh, reuse this container. Okay, so I just finished with the application of the product. We sprayed it all over our hair and then uh, we wrap it in a hairband. So what I tend to do, it's because I don't have a hair cap. I use an old t-shirt and I put it like this. So And then I try to collect it with another hairband. I tend to leave it for an hour or 20 minutes. It depends on your hair type. I showered and I applied a little spray again of argan oil and I can see already even if they are a bit wet still that uh, the color is much better, they are shinier and they are smooth because when I touch them they are really smooth they are silky probably if you have straight hair you can even notice it better sorry I have to spray with my hair so I can show it to you but it's still not dry so let's wait when it dries so the hair is drying slowly but surely and we can already see the final result I can see my curl more defined and uh, I am satisfied with it so you just need to make a hair mask with argan oil at least once a week so you help your hair to grow and also you help to restore your um, original pattern that you used to have because maybe you ruined your hair with decoloration or by dyeing your hair a lot argan oil can help restore your hair to the origin if you ruined it by straightening it or in it so it's really helpful for that just to leave you with a little uh, story about uh, argan oil it is made by the kernels of the argan tree and it has existed for centuries in morocco it's part of the beauty routine of moroccan women and probably also men and um, it's considered as the magical potion for skin and hair because it really has great benefits Just to summarize, argan oil for hair, it's really good to prevent dandruff. It's good to restore your first hair color and help against the coloration and straightening up your hair. It's good to make your silky, it's good for your hair. So if you want to boost your hair and restore it or even improve it, use argan oil. What I do is to buy it in bulk so it's cheaper and then I just feel like a spray with water so I don't overuse it and it lasts for a long time. So that's it and you can see again my hair. Argan hair oil is not just good for your hair, it's also good for your skin. First of all, it could be an anti-aging moisturizer, which means that it can help uh, reduce wrinkles and uh, dark spots and uh, moisturize your skin. Secondly, it could be used as an eye treatment. Sometimes our eyes are red because of fatigue and uh, tiredness, so we can use it to reduce uh, the inflammation and make our eyes more bright. Argan oil is also rich in vitamin A and E. It can be used as a lip moisturizer as well. It could be a for shaving oil and after shaving balm because it helps to soften your hair when you decide to shave and it reduces inflammation after shaving. Argan oil is rich in antioxidants so it's really good to help against dry skin and it helps remove dead cells. It can help uh, uh, with uh, scar treatment so for example when you shave you may have scars well argan oil is really useful to reduce uh, the scars and those dark spots uh, that may form because of shaving or because of other reasons. Argan oil should have a um, cloudy and golden appearance, that's why it's called the, the gold of Morocco. When you choose to buy argan oil, uh, try to buy it in bulk so it can stay for longer and uh, you can just uh, put it in a recycled bottle like this one and uh, reuse it many times with a spray with water, that's really good. Make sure
nature also to have uh, uh, argan oil that it's uh, organic to avoid the toxins from chemical products and make sure that it's not a counterfeit because there are a lot of counterfeit products uh, around the world i would recommend to buy it from morocco because that's the only place where the tree uh, organia is uh, available and uh, where you can actually make argan oil from scratch without using any chemicals that reproduce the substances let's say make sure that it's from morocco and it only has argan oil as an ingredient and nothing else yeah. If you know any more natural, sustainable, vegan products of any provenance, please let us know in the comments. We have a little surprise for you because we studied this blog. It's like it's very simple for the moment, but we will make sure that it reflects our energies, our personalities, etc. So the name is aminana.com. We will leave it in the description box so that you can check it out. We will um you know uh, leave the article like for this video with some extra products that we didn't tackle in this video so yes don't forget to put our blog in the favorites of your browser and if you like this video please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe um also let us know in the comments below if uh, these products worked on you we can guarantee that they work so how they worked on you and thank you so much for watching we will see you next time bye bye, bye. I don't need to go, 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 I don't need